Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 in the City. I am super excited for this episode because in the last episode, little Charlie Polly Rose had her birthday. She is now a super, super cute little toddler Vino and she needs a place to sleep. She doesn't have her own room. She basically needs Salma and James Jalma to move out to a brand new house. So that is what we're going to be doing this episode. I say house. We're staying in the city because this is Sims 4 in the city. And we're going to be trying to find a new apartment. So I asked you guys, where should Jessie live? And you guys actually had a really, really good idea. And I've tweaked it a little bit and we're going to do it in the next episode of Dream House. So look out for that. This episode is not going to be about that. But it's just a little hint, a little hint, the angry DJ in. A little hint for you guys so that you can look out for it in the next episode of Dream House. So I'm not going to be looking for the three bedroom apartment just yet. We're going to stick to the two bedroom apartment which I think is in the fashion quarter still. So they'll be staying in the fashion quarter which is great because it's very nice. But they are going to be moving apartments. If you guys are excited, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking of the series, ideas, custom content, everything in the comments below. And on my Twitter as well. I look out for what you guys say on there too. And guys, let's play some more Sims 4 in the city. <gasps> that moment when you realise you left your peach juice downstairs. <laughs> Bad times, guys. Bad times. If you guys play Sims and you don't dance in your intros, what are you doing with your lives? Need to dance. It's such, ha it's such happy music. It's such happy music. I kind of want I want Sims music at my wedding. That's like literally how happy it is. So our little chikaroonies are still in here next to stupid, loud, what's she called? Penny Pizzazz. Penny Peabody. Penny Peeba. Like, she's too loud. She's too loud. Like... There's such thing as being too popular and having too many parties and too many friends. Um, Penny Peeba is that exact person. <gasps> Here they are! Hello, little Salmon. No, you are late for work. Get Chibber. Get Chibber to work. Stop talking to the plants. James, you can do some babying. Oh no, where's the child going? No, don't go to daycare. James is right here. Return to me. What? Where are you going? Why Why are you outside in the street? What kind of daycare is this? That's yoga. Why are you going yoga? What is my child doing? What is she doing? She's off somewhere. Hey! Guys, what's happening with my child? Come home to me. I'm so confused.com. Is this what daycare has been all along? Just my child roaming the streets. Go and get your child, James, quick. She's just roaming the freaking streets! Oh my gosh, she just appeared back here, look. James is down- no, James is not even trying to get her. What the hell, James? Okay, come on, come and give her some loves. I feel sad for her. Why does it think that she's at daycare? Okay. Sad. We did not leave you behind. Like, father's parent just as well as mother's. Just because mummy bear goes to work, does it mean that suddenly you're left on your own, okay? That's not how this works. That is not how this works. Oh, she's tired, little baby. Come make her feel happy, okay? How come you can do all this talking to her already? I mean, she's a freaking baby. She can't do anything. She can't do a thing. Okay, so we have... Four thousand pounds, which I think we might need a five thousand pounds deposit. So I actually don't think we have quite enough. Why are they stuck? They're stuck to me. I don't actually. What are you doing? What is this French toast about? Get into the fridge. There we go. I actually don't think we have enough money to get into our house yet. So I don't know where Wee Babby can sleep until now. We may have to get. Can she sleep in there? I don't think she can. Isn't that for babies only? Yeah. Look, I can't interact with that at all. Um, I may have to just delete. Boom, there we go. I did download loads of new baby things. Loads of new, um... Oh, look, look, look at this little end tape. Oh my gosh, guys, the toddler's room. The to Oh my gosh, look. Are you ready? Are you ready for how cute this room is gonna be? But that's like a... That's a baby bed, isn't it? That is a wee baby bed. We need, like, this. But... Wait, what does a toddler sleep in? I need like a toddler bed, don't I? Oh, these are the toddler's beds. Okay, that's a toddler's bed. That's a toddler's bed. 
Okay, so they're the ones the twins had, actually. I'm gonna have to get her this just for now, I think. And then, as soon as we move out, she's gonna have her own room, but we can't quite afford it yet. So she can't... She can't have it just yet. Oh, damn. We can't really even fit it in. Okay, I think it's gonna let me put it here. Okay. Hopefully everybody can still get to everywhere that they need to get to. Hello, magic moose! Okay, can we can we put the wee babby to bed, please? Hopefully you're gonna be able to do that, Jim Babaroonie. Okay, I think he can. I think he can put her to bed. Hopefully he can still get down to his side of the bed. <gasps> oh, look, guys! It's her really cute little, um... Zebra PJs. <laughs> oh, she's sad. I think she's gonna be sad quite a lot because she's so clingy. But look, James is reading her to sleep. Our new oh, she's so cute. Look at her. You're so cute, baby. Okay, Sama, how are you doing at work? The thing is, her job performance is dropping because I keep flicking between the two households. Which is pretty annoying. Gourmet cooking skill. Use a refrigerator so to cook gourmet meals. Okay, she can do some of that tomorrow because she needs to get a promotion. Oh, wait, what? How? How? What, 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 what? I think maybe when I sold the crib, it was actually... Oh, look, they can all fit in that room together. I think when I sold the crib, it was actually like a lot cheaper than buying a toddler bed. So I have got a little bit of money from that. Okay, so I think... Have they both got work already today? Uh, Salma does not. But James does. I think we'll let James go to work and see how much money we've got at the end of the day. And then we will look to move, guys. I'm excited for the move. Salma, you're in the foul mood. Foul. Okay, cook a gourmet meal. Ooh. Wait, you've cooked these before. What's so gourmet about these? Never mind. Give it a go. And then you've got some harvesting to do. You've got a busy day ahead of you. And you're going to have to be looking at baby as well. So Salma has unlocked a new plant through grafting. I'm starving. Want to go grab breakfast with me at Rockside Gourmet? She can't because she's got the day of work, but she can invite you around when she gets her little bits done, okay? So we actually have some grafts and stuff now. I wonder if we can graft something onto here. Okay, you can take a curtain from it. And then graft. Um, Take a carrot shoot. You can make a, a jewel tree, okay? And then little, little babykins is awake. So why don't you uh, brighten her day and make her feel nice, okay? Oh, she's hungry. Oh my gosh, we need a high chair. Oh, it's such a tiny apartment. Where can I put a high chair? I want to try and keep as much of the furniture as I can because I want to move it to the next house. Jeez, this is a tiny apartment, guys. Okay, I have to feed her in here. What the hell? What are those options? Oh, because I'm on her. I see. So she can ask. Ah, uh, I thought it was on Salma and I was really confused. Okay, James Arun, you've got work today. You got a performance recently, but you need to study your opponents. Why is pasta on the floor? Pasta doesn't go on the floor, okay? Okay, let's teach little baby to say please and thank you. I don't actually know if she can talk yet, but we can try. We can try to teach her some manners. Look how cute she oh, is. Bankira. Oh, where's she? Oh, they're so cute. I actually think her skin tone looks a little bit closer to Salma's, I would say. <gasps> She's learning some manners, guys. Manners are being learned. Okay, so Salma is going to invite her mum around to hang out. <gasps> she can go into a cleaning frenzy as well. Right now, she's teaching little baby how to talk. She's actually got a bit of a dirty diaper as well, so we're gonna have to do that too. I just realized we've got no toys for her, but hopefully by the end of today, we're gonna be in a new apartment, so that doesn't matter too much. That's enough teaching of talking today. Okay, so her mum's coming around to give her a help. Give her a helping hand, okay? Oh, she's all stinky, and I can't actually um, give her a bath, because I don't have any bath to put her in. I don't know how to like show her to the mum. I don't know how she can actually ever learn to say hello to her. That sucks because I don't know how to get her to say hello to the mum at all. She doesn't like have any option to socialize with other people and Salma can't like show her 
So I'm kind of confused, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, the apartment's got so gross. Since they've had a little baby. Salma, you're gonna have to do some cleaning. It's fine though, because she actually really likes cleaning. Look how, like, she's in a bad mood, guys. She is in a bad mood. Why don't you cook your mum some food as well? It's hard having a baby. Like, we've learned this with Claire and Co. It's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Okay, at least she is having some nice little garlic noodles with her mum. How's James doing at work? He's only fine. Uh, He's doing excellent dang, dang. at work, though. And he's working hard. He didn't get quite enough chance to study opponents because Salma put kids TV on for this little weird baby. Oh, look, she's she's pooping in a diaper again. <laughs> we need to get her a bath and a little... Uh, oh, go away, Penny. We need to get her a bath and a little potty ASAP. As soon as James gets home from work, guys, we're going to be able to pack up and move. And then we'll be able to make a little toddler room. Okay, Salma's mum has gone home. And Salma's exhausted. <gasps> yes, James has been promoted to starter. He will now make an additional $20 per hour. For $86 per hour, we got a 698 pound bonus and we got a team photo. <gasps> I wonder if he's like in the team photo. I don't think he will be, but let's just see. Oh, you can't really tell, but that's cool. So that's his little llama corns team photo. I wonder if he can sell that for a lot. No, only 350. Let's leave it in the family inventory for now, guys. Okay, Jim Bobaruni. We need to get moving, okay? So, can we move via our phones? Yes, we can. Have a little check on the phone, okay? What properties do we have? Because there were two. There were two potential ones that I remember. Okay, so, I think, yeah, there were both two-story ones. There was this one. We can't afford the furnishings, but we would be bringing all of our stuff with us. So I don't think that would be too much of an issue. So it's got um, a big bedroom upstairs and a little workroom. And it's got a bedroom right next door that we could make the little baby Charlie's room. Um, so that could definitely work. We've got some neighbours there. Oh, they're a party place. Ah! Why does everyone want to do so many partying? There's actually another lot here. Oh wow, I didn't realize that. That's got two bedrooms as well. But I don't know, like we we live here already. We don't want to stay in the same building, do we? Okay, there's this one. This one's really cheap, but it is haunted and it's so dark. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Like we could, we could, we could do things with that. We could do things with that. Just straight up, you cannot afford this. You're not even allowed to look at it. And then here was the other one. See, I know it's three bedrooms and we don't really need three bedrooms, but I think this one's so much nicer. And we can afford the deposit. We would just have to uh, have it unfurnished and we would be keeping our furniture. Should we do it, guys? Should we do it? Should we move into 122 Hakim House? Spacious and luxurious, this apartment also has historical connection to a famous local artist. I think we should do it. I think we should do it, guys. We did it! We did it! Okay! We're moving into a new- Ooh, little blend bubbles. Blend bubbles. I'm so excited. We're moving into a new apartment with the little Calorie Aiken Al Arab Arabi, I think it is, family. <gasps> a neighbor! With trash! Okay, the whole family knows here and they are like, they're not in the best mood. Okay, which apartment is ours? <laughs> is this one? <gasps> is this one? It has no furniture. Okay. Build mode. Let's have some lights, please. So this is our new apartment. Oh damn, it's really hard to like picture how it should have been like, cause what is this room? Do you reckon that's like a kitchen? And the, oh my gosh, look at the living room. <gasps> when they get this all decorated, it's actually gonna look amazing. <gasps> oh my gosh, in memory of Wendy White. The landlord has one rule. This historical plaque dedicated to the famous former resident can never be sold or removed. That's fine. I like that a lot. Okay. So I think this is meant to be the living room here. And then this is like the um, living... Sorry, this is the kitchen. And then this is the living room. And then you've got a bathroom here. You've got a bedroom here. Oh, I don't know what that could be. Double doors. That could be like a worky room. And then we've got two bedrooms here as well. And a back room there. A lot of potential in this lot, guys. And then this is how the neighborhood we're in now looks. So we've got, like, uh, places for busking, as always. 
an art mural place as well. We've got an artist, uh, like a feature down there. It looks nice. It looks like it's going to be really nice. I hope our neighbors are nice. Guys, let's get decorating. So, everything is in the family inventory, <laughs> including this baby. Okay, so let's start decorating our living room. I think there's only one place to put this, and that's going to be there, isn't it? Uh, it should be fairly easy to start with this, really? Damn, we're probably gonna have to buy more stuff because this is a lot bigger. Okay, I'm gonna start putting the kitchen together for you guys first. <gasps> Just discovered another plaque. Oh my gosh. The landlord has one, ru one rule. So who's this to? Sean Washmanheimer. There you go. Everything's looking so lost in this apartment, by the way, guys. So, so lost. It's so huge. Oh my gosh, this TV looks even more ridiculous here. <laughs> it's so tiny. Okay guys, so I've got all that old furniture in. I've kind of, oh, dropped my phone. I've kind of made this bit over here, like the live, like the TV bit. It's kind of weird at the moment. I'd like to get other chairs like here. So it's like a reading area and then move that like into the middle a little bit more. But until I can afford to do that, there's not very much I can do. Also, I didn't like pack, for whatever reason, the planters haven't come along with me. So I've got plants, but I don't have the planters to put in. I think I should have put them in Salma's inventory before I moved. So that's a little bit annoying, but I only have 783 pounds left to make a little room for the little baby. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to get some more of these lights. These lights are fairly cheap and they give off like a lot of light. So I'm just kind of putting those around the house for now. Okay, let's let's see what we can do about this baby's room. Oops. So uh, I'm kind of scared to delete that in case I need it. So I'm just going to move it for now. Right, let's go to little kitty winks. So I actually don't think, I think I need like to keep the toddler's bed for now anyway. But I could put this cute little veil on. <gasps> Why don't I have much money? Ugh. Okay, we might have to keep that one for now. Can we at least recolor it? Okay, that one's quite cute. Because I want to put like the little veil over the top. But it, you can tell it's not really right for that bed. Oh, you can kind of do that with it. Okay, that so sort of works. But if I do that, I can't afford anything else, guys. <laughs> That's so annoying. Cause look, there's like these little planes that you hang from the ceiling. There's these little uh, like pillows that you can put in the bed. <gasps> What's that? A little toy nursery carriage. Another little pillow. Um, or it's like a recolor of the cloud. That's cute. We've got this cute little blankie. All the Pokemons. A little dolly stroller that they can play with with their kid. <gasps> Just loads of really cute stuff, but I can't use any of it yet. Which is super annoying. <gasps> a milk bottle. Oh. Guys, I really... Oh, look at the dresser. Oh. Okay. We're going to have to earn some serious money before we get to have the apartment of our dreams. Little baby is grungy. Oh, we still don't have a bath. Ah. Oh. Maybe they'll clean her at daycare. Maybe they'll clean her at daycare. I don't know. Okay, let's um, give food to Charlotte Rose, okay? Let's give her a ham and cheese sandwich and then she needs to head to bed. Salma, you need a wee. I don't know why you're going that way. So it's definitely much, much bigger. There's a lot of potential. We just don't really have quite enough money to do exactly what we'd like to do with it now. Here is our uh, new view. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This apartment actually has the best view that we've got so far, for sure. Because we're looking over into, like, the really rich area, like, the financially bit. Oh, my gosh, what is that plane doing? There must be an airport over there. And it's just, it's, it's a very, very pretty view that we've got. Okay, little wee baby is eating her little sandwich. And I don't know why she's wee baby, but she's always wee baby for some reason. And then, James, you're going to have to read us asleep. He's bored. From boring work. Oh, it's so hard being Jamesy, isn't it? <gasps> oh my gosh, she just threw all of her food on the floor. Gosh, you can tell she's James's daughter. James used to do that so much. Literally so much. Oh, all the food from the freezer is gone. We used to have so much food. Oh, look, literally her room is so depressing right now. It's literally, that's all we've got. We've got her birth certificate on the wall. 
And then that's it. At least she's got this cute little veil over her bed. Okay, please tell me these guys have got work or something tomorrow. <gasps> Salma doesn't. She doesn't have work for three days. That means that she's going to be looking after the baby for that whole time. And also, there's no income coming in from her. James does that. He's got work at 2 p.m. today. He's woken up hungry. But oh Salma God. needs to cook because she needs to prepare food for her job. So please allow Salma to do that instead of you, okay? It's to tofu chicken. <gasps> oh, no, we can't afford it. Okay, button at Noki it is. James, you've got other stuff you can be doing in the meantime, okay? <gasps> okay, so James is at work. We really need him to come home because we've not bathed the baby once. Like, literally, she's not been bathed once. She's just walking around the apartment with zero hygiene, stinking up the whole place. <gasps> I mean, we can we at least... I don't think we can afford her a little, um, little poopsy thing. No, we can't even afford that. We can't even afford a little practice potty for her. <gasps> is this a neighbor coming around? Maybe they'll have a bath we can use. Okay, Salma's gone to go visit one of the neighbors <laughs> just to see if they've got a bath so we can at least bathe our child. Because that's a pretty important part of having a child, being able to bath them. Oh my god. Why do I always just make the biggest parenting fails when I'm playing this game? Okay, is anyone here? <gasps> oh my gosh! This is a very artsy fartsy apartment. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool apartment. <gasps> They've got a bath! Yes! Give Charlotte a bubble bath! Quick! Quick! So this is her apartment. <gasps> it's cool. Like, it's very different and it's very cool. She's got a lot of stuff. <gasps> She's got a little shisha pipe thing. Oh my gosh, when I tried to shisha pipe, I nearly vomited. <laughs> It made me feel so sick. Oh wow, she must have a kid that lives here. <gasps> Look at her desk. Uh, not her desk, like a, a food table. Oh my gosh, this she's got to be an artist. She's even like painted on the floor. Oh, at least little baby gets to have her um, her bath finally. Look, her hygiene's 100 now and she's having a cute little bubble bath with her mum. So at least she's got that going for her, guys. Oh, she's all happy now. We're literally just making this person's apartment our own because ours has nothing in it. These guys are just like hanging out here together. Oh, let's have a look at the walls actually. Oh my gosh, it gets even crazier when you like put the walls up. She has so much stuff. I've never known anybody have so much stuff. Look at these two little cutie pies playing together. Ah, so cute. She has so much artwork. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is the most colorful apartment I think I've ever seen. Hateful kitchen though. Oh, she's so cute. She likes to be held, this little wee baby. Oh, wow. She's off to go do some PC and practice her programming. But she's going to be all sad now because she's been left. Oh no, she's tired of roughhousing. I got an ouchie while roughhousing and I don't want to anymore. Why are you crying? What are you crying for? What's wrong? Oh, she's tired, guys. Okay, I think it's time for us to go home. Thanks, random person, for letting us just use your apartment for a while, but now we will be going home. <laughs> Thanks for the bath! Hakim House. Okay, we need James to come home so <laughs> we can afford things for our apartment. Let's at least read Charlotte to sleep. The main thing is, although she was a bit schmelly, and she was getting tired. She, like, is really loved. Look at her relationship with James, 100%. Her relationship with Salma is really good, too. So, you know what? They actually have... She she might not have everything in the world. In fact, she may only have a bed and a veil. But she has a hell of a lot of love. She has a hell of a lot of love. Look how cute she is. Ah! I gotta pick her up and, like... Squeeze the life out of her. Do you ever get that? Where something's so cute, you kind of want to crush it. I don't know why. I don't know why the two are linked in the brain. I seem to silly things to put together, but that's just how I feel about cute things. So as I get some money as well, this floor is way too dark. I'm gonna put lighter floorboards in because I think it will brighten up the apartment a little bit. Okay, she's asleep now. Selma, you have had your workout since getting this baby because you're literally um, you've had to just do all the parenting. Well. James has done a lot of parenting, but she's been that like a very much stay-at-home mum, but kind of accidentally. 
Oh, it's the same food every night. <laughs> okay, this is two dollars. She's kind of accidentally become a stay-at-home mum because of just of how her work hours have, have worked out. Look, she doesn't have work for another two days. Okay, 602 pounds. Well done, James. Wow, you are tense. Joy, do you go jog to clear your mind and help with the tenseness? And then when you come home, you've got dinner on the table. We look after us, each other in this. We look after each other. Okay, so we can buy a few more things for her room now. Or should I put the flooring down first? Oh my. I should probably buy some more stuff for her room, shouldn't I? So, look at the little side table. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We can also get her this dresser. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this collection called? Twins Kids Room. Oh my gosh, there's loads of stuff. Oh, is this like to put on the wall? I don't understand what that is. Is it like, oh, it's a partition. So you have the girls on one side and the boys on the other, or like there's just two twins separate. We should have had that when we actually had twins, you know? A dolly stroller, oh my gosh. But if she gets a little dolly. Ooh, so cute. Okay, we're almost out of money now. I kind of want to get her the little aeroplane as well though. Oh, what about this little baby genius mobile? Oh, wow, it's got high ceilings here. Okay, I can put that above her bed. And then it's just, like, it's gonna take a while to, like, completely get this house done. I can just feel it. But I want to get some lighter flooring, because these floorboards are so dark. Okay, so I can actually do it for free, because it's already there. I almost kind of want to go, like, white flooring. I know it's the same as the kitchen, but it makes the place look so much bigger. I don't know. I could go for this, like, blue. Like a green. Hmm. Or we could just go like a little bit lighter. And then maybe we put like a white in the kids' room. Yeah, that could be a plan. I kind of like blue out here. I, I, I didn't think I'd ever say that, but I think that looks better. I just prefer it to be lighter. I mean, that's like the super light option. Let's go with that just for now. Oh my gosh, this wood actually looks real. I think I should go for the wood that actually looks real. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. And then babies is- ours is like this very rustic wood. Hers is like painted white. That looks so much better. It looks like we've just treated the wood, which is way easier. What color are the walls in this place? See, I'm, I'm not digging that blue. I'm actually not digging that tile at all. Oh my gosh, that looks really cool with like actually um, exposed like brickwork on a few of the walls. <gasps> that looks so much better, guys. Just a few of them, like not all of them. But just having this like uh, exposed brick looks a million times better. I'm gonna do it on those two as well, just so that the bricks go around there, because otherwise it's kind of annoying. <gasps> that looks so much better already, guys. Or at least I think it does. You might be looking at it being like, I want to like vomit all over the walls. Oh my gosh, look. We could put bricks down and for whatever reason, it actually gives us 94 pounds back. I'm gonna do that in the kitchen because I don't like those tiles. They look like a like, kitchen in a restaurant rather than in a home. Yeah? A uh, coffee would be lovely, thanks. Okay, you'll have to let me know what you guys think of that, but I love exposed brickwork if you've got like a big loft kind of a room, which they do, and it gave us a little bit of money back to put the bricks on the wall, so I've done that, which means we should be able to put a little bit more in baby's room now, because that's what this was all about, getting nice furniture for baby's room. We could get her a high chair now. Okay, let's get her this little cute bunny one. If you remember, um, the twins had this. Should we just pop it there in the corner? Oh my gosh, I'm there buying the freaking potty. You know what I keep forgetting? Can we like get a bath shower combo sort of dealio? Can I like sell this? And then um, can we get a bath shower combo? Where am I looking? Here we go. Oh my God, that one's a thousand. Do you remember how long ago they said that they wanted to get that? Uh, oh, what can I sell? I hate this. I'm gonna have to sell something. Is there a cheaper non-custom content version? There isn't. Oh, I might have to sell these. But I don't want to. Oh, I might have to sell her veil. <gasps> okay, I've sold a veil, which means I can at least get... Is there a bath shower? Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you wash a child in this? Will it not just float away? Oh, I can't quite afford a bath shower s s combo. But what I can do is just get a bath. And we're all just gonna have to bath it for a bit until we can afford one. That's the way it's gonna have to go, I'm afraid. It's a really nice bath. Like, 
You you would not be sad about having to use that bath. It did cost us a thousand pounds. Am I being a bit of an idiot? Like that one's nice too. It's got like a little slate underneath. Oh man. That one's pretty pretty nice as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop. Because I'm just keeping on spending. Poor James. He works hard all day, comes home, and then within like four seconds all his money's gone and he's like, what? What just happened? Look how happy and cute he is. How, how much do you love this family? Because I actually love this family so much. James has low fun. Okay. Why don't you watch some TV before bed? <gasps> no. Loud neighbors again, guys. Loud neighbors again. I don't have to just go into their lot and just make them shut up. Because it's really annoying having loud neighbors. <gasps> Wait, baby, why are you up? Oh, you're hungry. Oh, she's sat watching TV with Tad. She needs to go in her crib. Why are you not in there? Put her in there. Put Charlotte in there, okay? <laughs> then she can do an eat. There we go. Why are you watching kids TV? Oh, look, James is flirty. Blowing kisses and stuff to Selma. What is he like? He's such a big cutie bear. Oh, Selma's come and sat next to him. Leaving poor, poor little baby to eat on her own. But still, I think their apartment is pretty awesome, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, there's a lot more that we can do to it yet. But for a starter, compared to their old apartment, I think, I think it's really, really nice. But guys, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Next episode, we will try and get some more money. And we will definitely make um, little Charlie Rose's room really, really nice. But for now, this is unfortunately as much money as we have right now. But we'll get more money. I promise you guys we'll get more money. We'll buy more stuff and we'll make the apartment super, super amazing. If you guys like it, please let me know in the comment below. If you find some cool furniture that you want me to add to this, just drop me the links on Twitter and I will go and I will download them all. I love this family. I actually love this family so much. They're so, so cute. And guys, I'll see you in the next episode of Sims 4 in the City. Bye!